What's up, JB Navy? It's your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And um, today is going to be a Q&A. Listen, okay, so this is what happened. I went on Instagram and I said, um, you guys can ask me questions or tell me what you thought about me before and what you think about me now. Matter of fact, just say what you want to me and I'm just going to address it in a YouTube video. So here I am. I'm about to address the things you had to ask me, the things that you had to say, and I'm going to give my comment. And I'm going to try to get through all of them. I also asked you the same thing. Ah, this is my little sister, Jayla. Hi, Jayla. Hey. I'm recording. Oh, sorry. i call you back. Okay. I want to address some of the things that was in there. I'm chilling in my office right now. I got my little hookah, got my laptop in front of me, and I got my cell phone to read off like the things you guys sent me on Instagram. And I asked the same question on YouTube um, in the community part. I asked you guys Q&A or tell me what you thought about me before versus now. So I'm just going to get into it, and I'm going to address some of the things that you guys had to say. So let's get into the video. I'm just going to go in and... Um, Look at some of the stuff on Instagram first. This is from Instagram. It says, I was going to put it in the question thing, but it's not going to fit. I wanted to ask you how you stay focused on your goals. I have so many goals in life, but my biggest issue is that me not being able to follow through with things. You are a wonderful entrepreneur and I love everything you stand for. You know, I'm not gonna get on here and talk like staying motivated is easy. It's not easy, it does get hard, and um, wow, there's so many things I wanna say to you guys and I don't wanna ramble. I just heard this bomb ass podcast, okay? But I'ma share that with y'all in a minute. I just don't wanna lose it. Like, I heard this bomb ass podcast and it, it was like, it was like, man, it just confirmed something for me, okay? But I'ma get into that. So to answer your question on how I stay motivated and how I stay true to my goals is, I want this, and I think I've said a long time ago on the, on my channel that um I've sacrificed so much and still sacrificing that to this point I have to be successful in anything and everything that I do there's no other way like man it's like spending money like time way more valuable than money I done spent so much of my life I done dedicated myself to so many things. I just sacrificed so many things. I just sacrificed so much time. Like at this point, I have to be successful. So I think the thing that keeps me going and keeps me grounded is like how much time I done spent. It's just like spending money. Like imagine spending a whole bunch of money on something and it's up to you to get what you're supposed to get from it. It's like, all right, at this point, I have already spent this much. I got to get it. I got to do this. So that's kind of like how I feel about my goals and stuff. Like it's easy for me to say some cliche shit like, oh, my son, my child. Like, yeah, that type of stuff do motivate me. But sometimes that's not enough. For some of us parents out there, like our kids do make us go harder. But some of us still find ourselves finding it hard to be motivated and stay motivated sometimes. So I think the top thing that motivates me the most is seeing how much of my life and how much I've sacrificed. And I have to win at this point. So that's my answer to that. So now I'm going to read something from the YouTube wall, okay? Somebody said, I was in, I'm reading it right here from my laptop. I was interested in stripping. I subscribe because I liked who you are and that you cannot copy. I think she meant like, I don't know what she meant. Um, I'd like to see a video on what you think of copycats on YouTube. Favorite video is when you were asking your mom what she thought of your stripping, like the videos with your family too. But wishes, but best wishes, girl. Thanks for the content and taking some stigma out of dancing. Okay, so basically, if you didn't really understand what she was saying. Was she said that she originally subscribed to me because of the stripping videos, and then she learned to like really like who I was, and that um, she asked me how I feel about copycats on YouTube, and she said her favorite video of mine was when I interviewed my mom about my dancer videos. Now, you know the whole controversy about the copycat stuff on YouTube. Wow, it's it's really even hard for me. Oh my gosh. 
Mm, no. So, I I don't think I should feel bad for saying this, but I started the trend of YouTube like strip club vlogs. I started that. I started the trend of matter of fact, it's not even a trend. I started chit chat and count money videos. Nobody did that. I, I did that. I really was at home one day about to count my money and reflecting on my day and I turned my camera on and counted my money in chit chat. I created the chit chat and count money vlogs. I did not create like, um, I'm gonna say, I didn't create talking about stripping on YouTube. I've seen people's what's in my stripper bag. I've seen Glamazantes. I've seen, I seen um, Nina, Nina's um, what's in my stripper bag. And I've seen a couple of um, Nina's videos kind of going on the topic. I am going to say that I feel like I created the raw, the rawness of like going straight into the club, the rawness of keeping it 100 about what goes on in urban black clubs. I'd never seen a black YouTuber do strip club content how I did it. I'm standing by that and that's how I feel. And I don't really care who disagree or agree. I know what's... I know what I did. I know what I what I did. And I know who copied my content. I know who tried to ride the wave of my content. I know who's still riding. I know what's going on. A lot of these strip club people that's doing the strip club vlogs, they watch my channel. Some people gave, um, some people, you know, uh, showed love to me and was like, yo, Jazz inspired this, whatever the case may be. And some people didn't. That's fine. You know, so when you ask me about copycats, I've just learned to kind of like, not be angry about it because I used to get upset like I used to get mad like I used to get on here and be like oh wow this girl like copy my whole layout copy my whole content like but people kept telling me this over and over and over like Im imitation is the best form of flattery or some shit like that and I'm just like you know what they write like at the end of the day anything you do is probably going to be copied but how I look at things is like I'm the author of this book no, anybody that's copying anything I do, they cannot move forward without me because I am the author of this book. They can only hopefully move forward in something else or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I don't really care about that stuff no more. I used to care, but I realized that I'm so much more and I'm so much bigger than that. And, you know, at the end of the day, the real will reveal itself. So I don't really care about it no more like, as much as I used to. So that kind of like... I don't want to, you know, talk about copycats or any other YouTubers that's doing stripper content like me. I don't really want to talk about that no more because we want to bigger and better things, period. Um, and she said she, um, she said she appreciate me for taking some stigma out of dancing. And that was really my goal, period, anyway. Like, that was my goal when I wanted to talk about dancing on YouTube. I just wanted to show, like, we are mothers, we are women, we are still people, we are entrepreneurs, we are businesswomen. We are still part of this society. And I just kind of wanted to change people's outlook on dances. And I still feel that way, and I'm still going to do that. So that's kind of with that. So I'm going to go to somebody else on Instagram that said... Some of these are kind of long, y'all. Oh my gosh, this one, this one is like super long. Like, I appreciate the love though. But she said, hey, I stumbled, I'm gonna try to read it fast, okay? So she said, hey, I stumbled upon your YouTube video on how you became a stripper. I've been thinking about learning to dance for a few years. I picked out a beginner's pole online class so I can learn at home and get into shape. I've been on my fitness journey for a year now. This interests me because not only am I broke not only am I a broke college student, but I want to get into better shape and have fun at my job. I want to learn how to dance and be more confident. Anyway, I've so I've got a base plan. I've talked to my mom about it. Obviously, she wasn't impressed, but hey, she knows I'm not stupid. Anyway, I had a few questions. You mentioned you started in Fort Wayne, and I was surprised. I live an hour away, but I go to IPFW, which is PFW now. If I were going to dance, it'd be a club there. So basically, I want to know which club you auditioned at, if you don't mind sharing. Also, what was it like when you started? Did you have any experience beforehand? Were you in good shape? Okay, I'm not going to read the rest, but I'm just going to tell her this. I lived in Fort Wayne for a short period of time. My mother um, moved us from Philadelphia to Fort Wayne, Indiana for a little bit. So you're going to find people that know me from Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're going to find people that um, is familiar with me talking about Indiana and everything. But... I'm not from Indiana. I lived in Indiana and um, I did first, I turned 18 in Indiana. So therefore I was dancing. I started dancing there before I went back to Philly to live permanently. And um, I worked at Showgirl 3. So 
And if I had to give you advice on where to audition at, I wouldn't know that anymore because I haven't lived in Fort Wayne in so long. I do not know what clubs are like getting money and anything about that. The thing about being in shape, though, that you're talking about, yes, you definitely want to be in shape. I tell people all the time, they ask me about things like that. I always say, like, if you can look better, achieve it. Don't, like, why are you at, like, I don't want to say why are you asking me. I want to say, like, if you know that you can look better than what you look like now, go for that. You're going to, I mean, uh, there's somebody out there for everybody. There's a taste and there's a vibe for everybody. So I'm pretty sure there's people out there that will like your shape and like how you are. But if you want to look better and you want to maximize your income and maximize your full potential, girl, shoot for the stars. Like, get in shape. So I'm pretty sure you can make some money the way you are. But if you know that you can look better, do it. Going to YouTube, another YouTube comment. Somebody asked me, are you still stripping? Yes, I am. But it's just occasionally now I kind of want to like zone into content because I understand that creating content is so much more than just turning on my camera. It's changing every year. It's changing every month. And I'm changing. And my, um, my, what I can say, my goals for myself is changing. Like my mm, standards for myself is changing. So I want to come better and harder and reach my full potential so I just kind of want to zoom in on content um, like I said I would never ever say I'm done dancing because I never know when I have to return to that but yes I do dance occasionally um, somebody said let's go to Instagram now because that was from YouTube somebody said doo -doo 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 -doo. at first I started looking at your videos because I thought you were sexy and I thought you were an average stripper chick but I see you have goals, morals. I see you have goals and morals and work damn hard. I'm definitely in the Navy. Gang, gang, JB Navy. That's what's up. Okay. Um, that's what's up. That was a nice comment. So going back to YouTube. <laughs> Mo Giggle said, you come across very defensive and aggressive in some of your videos. Like, I feel like Kanye, like people are mad sensitive and I, I, I have to defend myself with this all the time. If I'm a guy and I'm like, this is what I mean and this is how I want it and you guys got to get it like the motivational speaker Gary V, like the motivational speaker E.T. Like when they talk aggressive and passionate about how they feel, nobody says, oh my gosh, you're so aggressive. Nobody does that. But for some reason, when a female does it and a female is very passionate about what she's talking about. Me being aggressive is negative. I am aggressive. And to be honest, I am defensive. Like, if I feel like somebody's coming for me, if I feel like there's something I'm trying to defend, like the topics I talk about, colorism, racism, um, uh, uh, dancers being treated a certain way, women's rights, whatever. Like, whatever I'm passionate about, I'm aggressive and defensive. Like, that's just what it is. Sorry. I mean, sorry, not sorry, though. Um... The next thing is, somebody said, what is my plans for the summer? Well, my plans for the summer is all content, baby. I'm taking my camera everywhere. Um, I want to travel. Um, I'm upgrading a lot of things about my online store. I'm upgrading a lot of things about myself. I want to take pictures. I just want to live my best life, okay? Mikkel is going to Philadelphia for the summer with his um, grandparents and his dad. And, um, yeah, this is just going to be a content-filled summer. It's going to be lots of vlogs. And I need you guys to support the vlogs and watch my vlogs so you guys can see me evolve as a person and see, like, what my day-to-day -day life is about and the things that I do. So let's get into another comment here on YouTube. Somebody said, I was here for the inside vlogs in the strip club and you being yourself and your interactions with other dancers. Now you switched your whole channel up, but I'm here for it. I haven't switched my whole channel up. Uh, the reason why I stopped doing the inside the strip club vlogs was because I was getting strikes on my channel for the nudity. I was getting um, co copyright claims because of the music in the background. It just became a full headache and it started to put my channel in jeopardy and also the money I'm making off of YouTube in jeopardy. And I was just like, this is not really worth it. Like, you guys seen it. You guys get the point. Like, it took my channel where it is today. I'm grateful for it, but... It just got messy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just happy that I got to show you guys what I wanted to show you guys. Um, now, ever since I started doing it, the YouTube, you know, the strippers are coming out on YouTube. There's plenty of strip club vlogs for you to go watch on other people's channels. But I will not be doing any more inside strip club vlogs. I really don't know. If I could find a way 
I don't know. I can't tell you what the future holds, but as of right now, I'm not doing any inside the strip club vlogs. Um, I can't say that I switched my whole channel up. Everything that is me you're going to see i feel like i didn't switch anything up. i just feel like i'm blossoming like i always been this girl and i just feel like i don't know i'm just not gonna stick myself in a box when i first started youtube i had a friend that started too and she kept talking about this niche 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 find a niche find a niche and i just feel like with people who find niches find themselves stuck in their niches and then when they want to go outside their niche the audience doesn't like it but I just listened to this bomb ass podcast today and it was just so crazy because I didn't even go to this po podcast. Me and my friend were talking about motivational speakers and he was like, yo, have you heard this? And he put it on and he fell asleep and I'm just in here listening. And the podcast was just saying like, you have to be willing to lose viewers and followers and all these likes and everything if you're going to make a crossover and be happy about your crossover and make money from your crossover and be authentic with your crossover like i don't even care if people are unsubscribing or not following or not watching or anything because i'm i feel good about the content that i'm putting out and i think that the people that's going to appreciate my content is going to come along so basically like it weeds out the people that wanted me one way or wanted me in the stripper box and it brings in the people who's going to start loving me for me and accepting me and understanding what jazz is really about because jazz is not just a stripper so i wish like people stop trying to put me in this stripper box because really when i first started my channel my channel was a family channel i was with my son's father um we were doing pranks on my son we were trying to do the typical like youtube family shit and then we broke up and then I just started being myself on YouTube and literally that's how this took off like I sat in front of the camera and said this is how I became a stripper I never seen a YouTube video on it I didn't watch other people I didn't know anything about that I just literally sat in front of my camera and said this is my story this is what happened and when it took off I was like wow they really care about this topic so I just started going in and everything has been authentic since then so I'm going to continue being me I'm going to continue being 100% authentic like I said the people who are with the JB Navy I love you if you're not hey I still love you but um, I wish you the best go find some other content because I'm not about to be stuck in this stripper box I'm not about to do it so um yeah she said I switched up my whole channel but really I didn't I'm just blossoming and you guys are going to see me evolve and I appreciate everybody that's like been riding with me period um he said I don't have a question I just want to say I fuck with your vibe heavy you seem like you would be a fun ass person to be around and you know your content when you got me locked in on watching hair videos okay um <laughs> that's Philly Prince 215 he is so adorable he's so funny you guys make sure you follow him he's so funny Philly Prince 215 and that's what he said he's been a major supporter of mine I've been a supporter of his we actually did a skit together that is on my Instagram so you guys need to check that out okay so on YouTube somebody said what's your favorite thing about being a stripper and why my favorite thing about being a dancer is hair and makeup and feeling beautiful at night and of course getting paid for being beautiful and um, dancing honestly I love dancing I really love like that place called playground in LA where all the people be like doing the dance routines on YouTube and stuff and on Instagram look love it absolutely love it like I love watching choreograph I love watching people do dance routines to dope songs I love sexy seductive dancing that's like my favorite 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 dancing like I make up dance routines in the car I make up dance routines at home I want to get out of like being shy and start doing like some videos like that but yeah so um, my favorite thing about dancing is really just getting all made up and being paid and just being pretty because like dancing is like let me tell you something. I'm really a tomboy. Like, I'm really a laid back girl. I used to be very girly, like getting up and getting dressed for no reason with nowhere to go. And then I had my son. And of course, I had the mommy blues. And the mommy blues is when you kind of like just be like, listen, I'm not, I'm throwing on a baseball cap. That's how I am every day. I throw on a hat, some sneakers. And especially with me in my office working and stuff, I just be like, I don't get dressed up all the time. So when it's time to go to work, I have to get dressed up. And it's like, when I look in the mirror and I see myself dressed up, it's just a reminder of like who I am sometimes and who I can be, you know, and women, we have so many different layers and I just love like 
getting dressed up and seeing that layer of myself that I don't do on a daily basis. So that has to be one of my favorite parts about dancing. Um, do you sell JB Navy t-shirts? Make a t-shirt with the crown over the J. Okay, I mean, if that's what you want. Um, I actually am going to get into selling some JB Navy merch, but I want it to be really creative and really dope, so that is on the way. Strippers make a lot of money. Some blow their money on cars, jewelry, handbag, and clothes. You seem like the type to save money, set up a college fund, and start a business. Okay, I don't knock people that like to splurge. My thing is... I'm not that type of person like I, I'm just not that type of person right now I don't know who I'm gonna be once I become a millionaire but right now I'm not the type of person I've never been that type of person and you are absolutely right I was always the girl that when my friends were sleeping on each other couches with Gucci bags I was the one with my own apartment with some fucking like you know some shit from rainbow on or some shit from forever 21 on while they had Gucci bags sleeping on each other couches I was in my crib you know like paying bills like I put my money towards different things like I like inventory I like stuff like that so if you ever see me with name brand or designer stuff that must mean that I had a little bit of money to splurge or something or somebody bought it for me but no that's not really where I put my money at but I don't know sometimes you know I mean sometimes people got to do what they got to do to mingle with certain people and to network you know I don't know everybody has their reasons for spending their money the way they spend it but you're absolutely right definitely not me somebody said what about your manifestation working towards your goals since i've been applying prayer meditation and manifestation i've seen growth in my life so i was just wondering how everything was coming together for you wow man you know sometimes people have to see a bunch of things happening to to have proof that they're that their prayers are working or that their meditation is working or that um, the universe is answering them. Me, I don't. Like, I don't have everything that I want. I don't have everything that I need, but I feel it. Like, it's just a powerful feeling. It's just so crazy. I feel so empowered. Like, the best way I could describe it is, I seen this post that said, do you ever just get to the point where you don't care because you know, like, that it's going to happen? That's where I'm at with it. Like, I don't even care. Like, I just know that I'm okay. I just feel so comfortable. I feel so good. Like, even in the midst of, like, bills, hella bills, even in the midst of, like, hella goals, I still just feel so calm and collected and everything is going to be fine. And um, I guess my life is manifestation. I, my life is manifesting for me. Like, I'm sitting in my office right now. I remember a time when I prayed for this, when I was like, how am I going to be able to handle my crib rent in an office rent? Like, and I've been handling it, and it's just been a miracle how I've been handling it. It's just so crazy. Like, Only way I can answer that for you, girl, is say, I'm doing good. It's working. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's working. Manifestation has always worked for me. I discovered the power of law of attraction when I was 18 years old. And everything I've ever asked for in my life, even before I even discovered what I was doing, I realized I was doing it. I know that, I, let me try to say that again. Before I even realized I was practicing law of attraction, everything I asked for in my life was happening. It's just so crazy. It's so weird, but it's just so crazy. But to answer your question, girl, it's, I'm, I'm doing good and I'm just so happy for you that you're doing good too. And that is for Ashley Holman. So that kind of like, that's all I'm going to read right now. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Like, I have a lot of plans for the summer. I have a lot of ideas. Um, as you guys can see, I have, let me tell you guys the table of contents for my channel. Okay. You have Keeping Up With Jasmine Black. That is my blogs. You have The List, which is like my new talk show format. I'm trying to um, redo the setup so it can be very comfortable and you guys can like really engage with us and really, you know, like really get involved with it because I love talking about politics. I love talking about life. And um, I have some friends with me, Nikita and also um, Non-Regular. And um, they are some bomb ass friends, and we're going to do some really dope episodes with the list. So, um, keep it up with Jasmine Black, the list. And then we have um, my hair reviews and my sponsorships. I need you guys to support me in that too, because that's how we make the money. 
That's how we make the money. That's how I'm able to do giveaways. That's how I'm able to keep my content going. That's how I'm able to buy equipment. That's how I'm able to buy, you know, pay my bills. That's how I'm able to survive, okay? It's off my getting paid from YouTube and also doing my sponsored videos. So make sure you guys support me in that. Um, what else do we have? Reviews, Keeping Up With Jasmine Black, The List, and I don't know, whatever else I just feel like doing. I'm just random like that. So I want you guys to understand my randomness, appreciate my randomness. Sometimes I'm going to do a video that's clear, out of the blue. You guys don't know why I'm even doing it. Like when I did the video with Sukihana, like the interview slash chit chat with Sukihana. Sometimes I'm just like that. I'm really random like that. I like to be an unpredictable person. So I hope you guys understand me, accept me, and love me for me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. I'm just so happy I got to sit down and kind of talk to you guys. I know it's been a while, but I just want you guys to know that um, I'm here. I love you guys. And until next time, JB Navy, I'm out.